G'day, I'm going to take you through some basic graphing. Okay, so when you first start graphing, the first thing you usually learn is how to put points on a graph. So that's pretty basic. So 4, 1, find the x4, there's 1, 4, 1. So that's x and that's y. This should be very basic, but I'll just take you through it just so you know. There's 4, 1, let's go for minus 1, that's x, and that's 3, so minus 1, 3, put a dot, and so you label that, that's A, that's B. Where's C? C is 2 minus 3, so 2 minus 3. Again, doing the X first and then the Y. And that's what you should know as very, very basic things. The next thing you learn is they give you a table and they put it on, they say, please graph it. So you're looking at this as the point. So that's X. That's why. So again, you're doing very similar to that, but this time you're going to make a line. So if I go 0, 1, 0, 1, put a dot. 1, 2, so 1, 2, put a dot. And hopefully these will line up. And then 2, 3, so there's X, there's Y. 2, 3, put a dot. And then join them, join them up. Now you should have a ruler for this. And there we go, and there's your line. And that's usually the next step. So we'll just do another one. 0, 4, so 0, 4. 1, 2, so 1, 2. And then 2, 0, so that's down there. And again, it's formed a line. And not very straight there. But that's usually your second step, is drawing lines with a little table like that. And that's it. G'day again. This is part two. So the next thing you get in basic graphs is they give you a formula and then they say fill in the values and then plot it. So it's just another step but it's pretty basic and it's still a straight line. So each of these go in there and that's all you've got to do. 2 times 0 is nothing plus 1 is 1. Put in the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, and then put in the 2. 2 times 2 is 2, is 4, whoops, plus 1 is 5. And then we plot these points, the same as what we did in part 1. So 0, 1, goes there. 1, 3, so 1, put a dot with the 3s. And 2, 5, put a dot there. This time I grabbed a ruler, so you get your ruler. Join the dots. And my dot's a little bit off. And you get a straight line. And that's it, you're done. Do the same over here. So we've got a formula. Just put them in one at a time. Now I've picked 0, 1, 2 because they're easy to work with. So three lots of zero is nothing. Nothing plus 2 is 2. I've actually answered it before. Three lots of 1 is 3. Oh, sorry, minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. Minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. Minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. And there are your three points. So 0, 2. 1 minus 1 is down there. And then 2 minus 4, there's 2, we'll go down to minus 4, is down here. Go and get your ruler and hopefully they'll line up. This time they do. And there we go. And that's your line. Now the thing to note while you're here, this is going up, this is going down. So this is a positive gradient. And this is a negative gradient. And then just points to notice for later on. G'day again. Back to part three. So when you get to this stage of graphing, you've got two choices. So your choices are to go with what you've done before, which is put in an X, put in a Y, put in a bunch of numbers and draw the graph. Or you can do it this way. So we'll do it this way to start with. And you only need two numbers. So we'll pick the easy ones, zero and one. So if we put zero there, Two lots of zeros, nothing. Nothing plus one is one. 
pretty easy. So 0, 1. Now notice on this graph, they make it a bit more tricky for you. They don't put numbers on, so you have to do the work. So 0, 1, put down a dot. Put in 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1, 3. Pretty easy. So 1, 3. So put down 1. Put a dot at 3. Join the dots and that's it. So I've got our ruler. You just join your dots. And there's your line and you get your marks. And that would be the way you would typically do things. There's another way to do it, which is faster when you get used to it. So the other way to do it is called point gradient. That's the point, the number on its own. So that number goes where the y is, because I make this 0, y is 1. So if I put a dot where the 1 is, that's my first point. My second point is this, which is the gradient. So the gradient is a fraction, and any whole number is a number over 1. So I want to go up 2 and across 1. So if I go up 2, I'll go up to 3, and I'll go across 1, put a dot, join the dots. Now in this case, you've ended up with the same two dots. And it's pretty obvious that there's your line. So it's pretty straightforward. The trick comes when you get an equation like this. And it looks a bit trickier. And this is much easier to draw using this, which I'll do in the next example. G'day again. So this would be the best way to do graphing as fast as you can in any test. This is point gradient, so that's the point and that's the gradient. So what is the gradient? Well, the gradient is rise over run. Okay, it's important to remember that, that that is the gradient. So to draw this very quickly, there's your point, there's your gradient, two dots, and you've got the line and you're finished. So if the question was to draw this, this is your y-intercept, because this form here is called the point gradient form. So it's y equals mx plus b. This is your y-intercept, so where it crosses over the y. It crosses over here and a half, so put a dot. We just need one more dot and we're done. So how do we find the second dot? Well, we go rise over run. Well, how far does this rise? It goes up three. So one, two, three. And then we go across, or we run four. So we run four. One, two, three, four. Put a dot. There's our two dots, and we're done. We just join those two, line, two dots, and we make a line. And we've drawn that line on that graph with two dots, and that's the fastest way to do it. So let's go over and let's do this one. So here's our y-intercept. So y equals mx plus b, or in this case it's negative. So we're going to put a dot at negative 1. That's our first dot. We want one more point. Rise over run. So in this case it rises negative 1. So we're going to go down 1. So we go down 1. We're still going to run across 3. So 1, 2, 3. Put our second dot. And that's it. We only need two dots. Join the dots. Draw a line. And that's our answer. And you're done. G'day again. Welcome back to basic graphing one. So I'm just going to look at a fifth type of equation that I recommend you change over to the y equals mx plus b format. So if they give you an equation like this and they say, here, graph this, you can fill in a table, but I think changing it is quicker. So if you change this equation, you'd move the 2x over here. So you'd have 3y equals minus 2x plus 6. So take off 2x, take off 2x, and I get this. And then divide by 3, because you only want y equals. So we get y equals, divide by 3, divide by 3. So we're going to get minus 2 thirds x plus 6 divided by 3 is 2. 
and now you've got y equals mx plus b and it's a lot faster to graph now so now you look at 2 put a dot at 2 same as before rise over run so I'm going to rise negative 2 I'm going down 2 1 2 I'm going to go across 3 1 2 3 put a dot join the dots and we're done that's my line and that should be pretty straightforward let's do the same over here so you're given this equation let's change it to look like y equals mx plus b so move the 4x over here or in this case because you've got a negative in between you know that both sides if you put one on each side are going to be positive so if you did it in two steps you can say we'll take off 4x so you end up with minus 3y equals minus 4x but since you've got minus and minus it's a plus so 3y equals 4x so now we're going to divide by 3 so we divide by 3 so y equals divide by 3 four, whoops 4 on 3x plus nothing okay there's nothing there so y equals mx plus b so b is the y intercept here it was 2 and here it's nothing so you actually don't need that you just need to realize when you've done that if that ever occurs that is nothing so it must pass through zero okay you can write plus zero if it makes you happy but you don't need to rise over run so let's do that one two three four and across three rise four run three one two three so we're going to go across from four to there to about there join our two dots that right, should be like that and there we go there's our line and we're done